the magnetic field strength is disturbed magnetic flux is varied and emf is induced induced emf sir which law was that yes sir faraday's second law so my initial considerations are very simple it opposes the cause which produces it there is a very beautiful experiment called jump disk experiment in the form of induced emf is opposing the motion of this magnet which has created it hello students continuing our discussion on electromagnetic induction what did we study in our previous session faraday's laws and what did faraday's second law state the magnitude of the induced emf is directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux e directly proportional to d phi by dt and what was the limitation associated with the law faraday's law did not give the direction of the induced emf it only explains the magnitude of the induced emf how much of emf is induced in a coil but it never gave the direction of the induced emf and that is answered by mr lens and that is what i study in today's discussion lens law of electromagnetic induction probably every examination the statement of lens law is a favorable question for one mark please to understand lens law is asked to be stated as a one marker in your examination or the consequence of lens law is asked now as i stated before what is lens law helping us to understand lens law in the yenu nartha maarkoltivi direction of induced emf one coil alli yava direction alli emf induce aagtide annodanna lens law explain maadutte first let us concentrate on the statement of lens law lens law says the polarity please to understand polarity is nothing but direction the word polarity means direction so the polarity of the induced emf andre the direction of the induced emf is such that it opposes very beautiful term ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿರೋಧಿಸೋದು ಅಪೋಸ್ 
is such that it opposes the cause which produces it yenidu statement is to and absurd agidiyalva artha maadkolana adu physical meaning thumba sulbu agide so the textual statement of lens law says that the polarity of the induced emf andre direction of emf that is induced in a coil is such that it opposes the induced emf will always oppose the cause which has produced it nodi nature ge estu samanagide alva statement to teenagers rebel age you always rebel oppose the thoughts of your parents cause for your birth the same way the induced emf will oppose the cause that has generated it a emf na ಉತ್ಪಾದಿಸಿರೋ ಕಾಸ್ ಕಾರಣನೇ ಆ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೊಲಾರಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ it opposes the cause which produces it now how do i understand the meaning of this statement for which i will recall by bar magnet and coil experiment coil experiment odudvala coil magnet experiment the same thing we will recall so here is a bar magnet and here is a coil same thing previous session le faraday's experiment henry's experiment nen kalutvi adanna recall maadkolana bar magnet and a coil south pole and north pole gamana it keli when the north pole is moved towards the coil when i move the north pole of the magnet towards the coil ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ there is a current induced in the anti clockwise direction very clearly you see current is induced in the anti clockwise direction so who is the cause for this induced emf surely the magnet now what happens is this current the so called emf will create a magnetic field which will oppose the magnetic field of this bar magnet 
ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಂಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ will create a magnetic field will produce a magnetic field which opposes the magnetic field of the bar magnet so what happens the nearer face of the coil also behaves as the north pole so this is the north pole of the magnet this is the north pole of the coil like poles they start repelling each other so very beautifully you see the coil in the form of induced emf is opposing the motion of this magnet which has created it so very clearly lenz law says the polarity of the induced emf direction of the induced emf is such that that emf will always oppose the cause which has produced it who was the cause who produced this emf and current motion of the magnet but what did this current in turn do it created a magnetic field which opposed the motion of this magnet so there was repulsion the emf here is opposing the cause which has created it so what was the direction of the induced emf here is always such that it opposes the cause which has produced it yavaglu one the coil alli induce ago emf tanna karanane oppose madutte yavudrinda adu utpadane hondirutte ಆ ಕಾರಣನೇ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಪೊಲಾರಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪೋಸಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ jump disk experiment very clearly explains the consequence of lenz law so the significance of lenz law is it is in accordance with the law of conservation of energy parikshal keltare what is the significance of lenz law so you have to either write lenz law is in accordance correlation with the law of conservation of energy or it gives the direction of the induced emf now using the principles that we have studied earlier based on the concepts of electromagnetic induction now we study something called as motional emf mechanical emf now i represent certain region of space using this into marks and i have clearly told earlier into mark baradre en artha uniform magnetic field so very clearly this is representing 
a region of uniform magnetic field. Now observe. PQ is a rod of length L. L denotes the length of the rod. So PQ is a rod of length L. And where is it placed? in a uniform magnetic field B. As I told, the rod is placed in a region of uniform magnetic field. And the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the length of the rod. So my initial considerations are very simple. There is a region of uniform magnetic field what I have represented as B. PQ is a rod that is placed in that magnetic field and the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the length of the rod. Simple. Now, motional EMF. Now, what I do is I move the conductor from PQ to the position P dash Q dash with a velocity V. So PQ, the conductor was in this position. I have pushed, I have moved the rod in the magnetic field with the velocity V covering a distance dx in a time interval dt. So what has happened? The rod PQ is pushed inside the magnetic field. When it is pushed inside the magnetic field, it is displaced through a distance dx and is now found in the position p dash q dash in a time interval dt. In so doing, what has happened? The rod is in motion. And because of the motion of the rod, the strength of the magnetic field is disturbed. Not this beautiful like that? I have pushed the rod inside the magnetic field. Because of the motion of that rod, the magnetic field strength is disturbed, magnetic flux is varied, and EMF is induced. Adhike idna motional EMF or mechanical EMF. How is that I have induced EMF here? I am moving a rod inside the magnetic field. Because of the motion of this rod, magnetic flux is varied, magnetic field strength changes, EMF is induced. So, here is a concept where I have induced EMF mechanically. How? By moving a rod 
inside a uniform magnetic field hence varying the strength of the field now on so doing by moving the rod the area covered by it is dx equals l into dx yav riti baritidivi see certainly the rod is moved inside the magnetic field it has covered some area and that area i have written as l into dx l is the length of the rod what is the dimensions of length this is l dx is the displacement dimensions is l you get l square which is the dimensions of area so the area covered by the conductor ds is l into dx now the change in magnetic flux across the conductor here that i am moving the conductor inside the magnetic field the magnetic flux strength linked with that field changes how did we write that change we wrote d phi is b a cos theta theta 0 degrees so cos 0 is 1 therefore d phi is b into a so d phi is b dot a a i have represented as ds area so d phi equals b l dx so how did i get this if you remember the concept of magnetic flux phi was b a cos theta theta is 0 degrees cos 0 is 1 so phi is b dot a here a area is nothing but ds so d phi is b l dx now the magnitude of the induced emf in the conductor how do i calculate the magnitude of induced emf sir which law was that yes sir faraday's second law e equals d phi by dt i am calculating the magnitude of emf induced in the rod how will i do that faraday's second law e equals d phi by dt or e equals b l dx by dt now concentrate on this term dx by dt displacement divided by time rate of change of displacement is nothing but velocity so b l dx by dt is v and this is the expression for motional emf b l v strength of the magnetic field length of the conductor velocity of motion so this expression gives you motional emf now as an application of the previous concept we study something called 
ಎಡ್ಡಿ ಕಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫನಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹೆಸರು ಎಡ್ಡಿ ಕಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದೀರಾ ಹಾ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ದ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಮೊದಲನೇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಐ ಚೇಂಜ್ the magnetic flux linked with this metal block i say it is a conductor so i change the magnetic flux that is linked with this conductor enagutte emf induce agutte consequence there are currents and this is the shape of the current induced idana circulating current is correct we the shape of the current is in the form of circles edios and that is what is called eddy currents so these are induced circulating currents so eddy currents are induced circulating currents produced in a conductor due to the change of magnetic flux linked with it if the current generated is in the form of circles circulating currents edios then they are called eddy currents since they were first noticed by foucault they are also called foucault's currents now coming to the applications of eddy currents commonly asked question for two marks first these ad currents are used in induction furnace the slide shows a diagram of induction furnace where heating effect is produced due to ad currents ad currents are used in speedometers you use your vehicles to measure instantaneous speed speedometer is used and the working of speedometer is based on the principle of eddy currents electromagnetic brakes of electric trains nowadays super advanced trains electromagnetic levated they work on the principle of eddy currents diathermy a type of treatment where human tissues are heated and removed induction cooking so induction furnace speedometer electromagnetic brakes diathermy a very new principle of heating human tissues induction cooking they work on the principle of eddy currents disadvantages naturally where there is advantage there has to be disadvantage the production of eddy currents cause loss of electrical energy in the form of heat extensive heat so electrical energy is lost due to heat it breaks the insulations of electrical machines 
and unwanted damping effects are caused due to LED currents. So dear students, in this session, we have discussed a very beautiful law called Lenz Law, where I understand the direction of the induced EMF always opposes the cause which has produced it. And it is always in accordance with law of conservation of energy. I have studied something called motional EMF. And finally, based on the concept of a decurrence, we have come to understand the uses and limitations of a decurrence. By next session, we'll meet up with a very beautiful concept called self-induction. Until then, stay safe. Thank you.